I'm going to discuss the, uh, very briefly the history and the future uh, of vaccines in lymphoma and CLL. Uh, vaccines uh, were, without a doubt, the uh, greatest invention of modern medicine uh, in that they prevented or cured uh, terrible infectious diseases uh, which people were otherwise dying from. And it has long been believed that we could use vaccines uh, to also teach our immune systems how to kill cancer cells uh, such as lymphoma and CLL. The first iterations of lymphoma vaccines uh, were promising, but then in large studies were not good enough to show significant benefit. Although some of those patients to this day uh, remain in remission from vaccines they received 10 and 15 years ago, uh, that was only a minority of patients and not enough patients got benefit from the earlier generations of lymphoma, uh, lymphoma vaccines. Uh, we have newer generations of vaccines for lymphoma, uh, for other hematologic malignancies like CLL and multiple myeloma. Uh, and even other types of leukemia. And without uh, going into the details of each type of vaccine, we have newer vaccines that are clearly accomplishing uh, what those version 1.0 lymphoma vaccines were not accomplishing, specifically uh, patients with bulky tumors, having those tumors melt away after receiving uh, these vaccines. Again, the purpose of these vaccines is to teach uh, the patient's immune system, how to recognize their own lymphoma or leukemia cells, and to travel systemically to target those lymphoma leukemia cells uh, and eliminate them. And now we have in early phase studies, both in lymphoma and in myeloma and in some leukemias, uh, examples of that, things that the earlier vaccine uh, platforms were not able to achieve. So these will in the near term lead to larger studies and we'll be able to show how effective these vaccines are. But perhaps even more exciting is that now in this modern era of immunotherapy, we have the chance to combine these vaccines with other types of immune therapies. And the most obvious example of these are checkpoint blockade therapies like anti-PD-1 antibodies. And if the vaccines are able to uh, initiate an immune cell response against a patient's own tumor, that immune cell response might peter out or might become exhausted. But by adding anti-PD-1 antibodies, we think that these immune responses will be uh, potentiated, they'll be more effective, and hopefully be able to induce remissions in large numbers of patients with lymphoma or other hematologic malignancies.